Straight now to Bayon's state where the governor, Senator Doyediri, has again made a case for the practice of true federalism and restructuring of Nigeria in order to determine the real viability of state. Governor Dewey spoke during the 124th State Executive Council meeting in Government House, Yenawa, against the backdrop of a recent report on the economic and financial viability of state in the country. It could be recalled that Economic Confidential in its 2022 Annual State Viability Index report listed by Yosa among six states that were allegedly financially insolvent. The governor faulted the report, saying it focused on only federal allocation and internally generated revenue to determine a state's viability without considering how their resources were being appropriated by the federal government. We cherish the ideal of a strong and a vibrant judiciary. The prosperity government has made very modest strides in creating the enabling environment to accord our judiciary the much needed independence. And we will continue to strengthen and support the independence of the judiciary through the appointment of more judges and judicial staff in the years ahead. One of the richest states in Nigeria is Bahelsa State. And by no means will anybody convince me seated here that Bahelsa State is insolvent. Return our resources to us and let us compare what Bahelsa State has with other states and see whether Bahelsa State is one of those that cannot generate internally generated revenue. Our resources have been expropriated, taken to Abuja, and shared to other states, and you call us a poor state. You need to stop that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.